The effects of that plan would be felt by Louisianians all over, but especially small businesses. KPLC's Jaron Jordan is here with more. That's right, Cynthia. Well, the owner of a downtown Lake Charles business says that eliminating income tax in favor of higher sales taxes would be bad for business. I think it'll kill off small business. I mean, it's not going to affect Walmart or Kmart or any of the large retailers that are out there. Charlie Hanchi owns the Art Shop, a local art gallery in downtown Lake Charles. He says he likes to stay informed about what's going on in the state and after following Thursday morning's joint meeting where Governor Bobby Jindal shed some light on his proposed tax reform plan, he says and it doesn't address the real problem which is the budget shortfalls that we just keep having it year in and year out. Under Governor Jindal's plan, income taxes would be eliminated and the state sales tax would increase almost 2 percent, bringing the state and local sales tax together to over 10 percent. Hanchi says that in itself will drive consumers away, especially from small businesses like his. Large businesses have so many profit centers that they can draw on and small businesses don't have that. I mean, I've got two. Hanshi says the profit margin for small businesses, unlike larger or chain businesses, is around one and a half percent. Any loss to that, like what could be seen under the governor's proposed plan, he says, could be a vital factor. A store like this, you know, you're talking about thousands of dollars, not millions of dollars, and that could be the difference between being able to stay in business and not. Under the governor's plan, the new tax code would take effect January 1st, 2014, but Hanchi wholeheartedly believes a plan like this will only cause more problems in the long run for the state. If you don't address the debt problem, then all you're doing is you're stalling what you should be doing now to a later date and it won't work. Now, State Representative James Arms and Mike Danahay told me that they want to hear more details from the governor, which they'll start to get next week when the House Ways and Means Committee starts to review the plan. They hope that it won't be too complex like last year's education reform bills that were ruled unconstitutional. Cynthia?